Hello, folks, and welcome back. On this episode, we travel to the Stephen Foster State Park in North Florida. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As we begin our trip here, we're going to head south on State Road 200, cross through the little bitty town of uh, Callahan, Florida, and then from there we're going to continue down State Road 200 to Interstate 10 and head west on Interstate 10. As we head west on I-10, we're going to pass through the Osceola National Forest, and the unique thing about the rest area here on I-10 is they actually have uh, a welcome center in there for the Osceola National Forest. Once we come out of the Osceola National Forest, we're gonna jump off on US 41 and head north towards White Springs. We're gonna cross the Suwannee River here as we come into White Springs, Florida. And Stephen Foster State Park is in White Springs, so we're almost there. folks as you can see we've made it to our site here at Stephen Foster State Park we're gonna go back in here get set up then we'll take a ride around the park and show you what it looks like this is gonna be our campsite here at Stephen Foster State Park it's white and electric only so let's go ahead and explore the park now As we exit our campsite, you'll see the bathhouse facility there on the right. We will let you know that the campground does have two separate bathhouses uh, and they have three different loops. This is an example of what the loops look like for the campsites. And as you exit the camping area, you'll see the dump station right here on the right. All right, let's go explore the rest of the state park. As we head out into the park, let me go ahead and give you some history on the state park. The actual full name of the state park is Stephen Foster Folk Cultural Center State Park. And the reason for that is the state park was founded back in uh, 1950 and it was uh, developed by initially the Florida Federation of Music Clubs. And basically what they do is every year on Memorial Day they hold a festival. The first one was held in 1953 and it's the Florida Folk Festival. And it's uh, been the longest running state folk festival in the United States. Um, and it happens right here at Stephen Foster. So uh, it's an interesting thing if you get a chance to go to it. But this will show you what the park looks like that hosts it. And the whole purpose of the park is for folk music and folk culture. So they have a lot of museums on here that deal with that. And we'll see those. And the main person that they honor is Stephen Foster. And it was put in this area because of the Suwannee River. The park is also set up to be able to kayak down the Suwannee River. They have numerous spots that you can put your kayaks in and take them out. They have trails that get down to them. And there's also numerous trails that you can walk on, bike on, or even horseback ride on out here in the park also.
and the area here does flood on a regular basis. You'll see 1986 there, 1948, and 1973. You can see how deep this area flooded during those times. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue our exploration of the park. This Florida State Park is unique in that it does have cabins that you can rent. And this is the cabin rental area that we're riding through now. This is gonna be the bell tower that they have on Stephen Foster State Park. And basically it's a little museum in the bottom, which we'll go into in just a minute. And then on the quarter hours, it plays songs that with bells that were written by Stephen Foster. And this is what the inside of the Bell Tower Museum looks like. And as you come out of the bell tower, if you walk across the street, you'll come up to the store, which is on the left here. That's where you're gonna check in for your campsites. And that's also where they have uh, some basic items for camping. And then over on the right, these buildings are where crafters set up for their uh, craft fairs when they have them here at the park. And on the other side of the bell tower is gonna be the museum here. I thought this was an old mansion at first, but it's actually just a museum that was built to look like an old Southern mansion. As we head back to the campground here, we will let you know that the campground was exceptionally clean. The restrooms were very clean when we uh, went to use them. Uh, we would highly recommend it, if nothing else, just for the campground. The state park to explore is also amazing. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we did. With that being said, we want to tell you that we appreciate you watching and thank you very much for your support. And we'll see you in the campground.